I almost burned the place down last year during our first Thanksgiving. I never told you guys about that. It's a little bit embarrassing. We're hoping not to repeat that this year. Okay, it's the weekend before Thanksgiving and a lot needs to get done uh, before guests start arriving on Wednesday. And we are gonna have a packed apartment. People are staying here, uh, starting to come here on Wednesday. They'll start trickling in right through till Friday and then they'll start trickling out on Sunday. Um, but until then, um, you know, I ordered most of the groceries and had those delivered because so much easier. But there's still some things that I just don't always trust the online grocery guy to get correctly. So we're gonna go to the Union Square Farmer's Market today, uh, which is exciting. I love going there. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do uh, since I moved to New York. Groceries had just been delivered, so I really gotta put those away. Um, and then my son's playing in his room, which is chill, so he's good. Got Leicester versus Chelsea just kicking off. So I think we're having a pretty great Saturday morning. I'm actually all out of whole bean coffee right now, which is a, a bit of a dire situation, but I'm not gonna let that ruin this day. Thanksgiving is kicking off, um, and uh, this is the fun part, is just preparing for it. The stressful part is, you know, the last few minutes leading up to it and, and the hours, uh, but this is the part where you just get to kind of chill, wander around, buy the things you need, and, and uh, you know, enjoy the little bit of calm before the storm. <music> It's probably the last true autumnal fall weekend here in New York City. Um, you know, it's been a ridiculously warm autumn here in probably most of the world or country at least. Um, but it's now finally cooling down. It's chilly. It feels more like fall going into what, what's winter. We finally got some rain. So the last of the leaves are kind of hanging onto the trees. Thanksgiving coming up, then straight into what is going to be the Christmas season. So yeah, that's why I say this could be the last true. Woo, there is a, it's a little bit windy. Um, so I say it's probably like the last true fall weekend here in New York City. baby boy does not want to wear his hat right now so uh if you happen to have any tips on how to keep a hat a toque a beanie on the head of a toddler i'd love to hear them in the comments so please let me know as the saying goes but first coffee um and not just coffee coffee and donuts daily provisions if you're ever in new york city check out daily provisions they have an, a maple cruller it's unfair how good it is so Please, 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 if you're in New York City, try the Maple Cruller uh, donut from Daily Provisions. You can thank me later. If you've tried it, drop it in the comments so that everybody knows how good it is and that they should try it. It's a must, must try if you're in New York City. through the market here at Union Square, which is honestly one of the best, probably farmer's markets in New York City. If you actually want to be like a local at this farmer's market, you got to come early uh, before it starts to get kind of touristy. Um, <clears throat> if you actually need to get things done, come early in the morning. Um, especially now there's the Christmas market on the other side of Union Square. So a lot more traffic and attention to this area um, than there normally is. And there's already usually a lot anyway. Anyway, picked up some herbs, some apples. What else we got? Brussels sprouts. 
So uh, we're doing well, making a good pace, getting things done. Do we need carrots? I was going to ask if you wanted yeah. carrots. No, I didn't because oh, I figured yeah, we'd get those carrots. here. Yeah. All right, carrots. Anyway, I think we got almost everything that we need for Thanksgiving dinner, except the turkey. I still don't have a turkey, which is a little uh, concerning, um, but I can just pop into the store at any time and, and grab one of those. Um, it should be okay. Should be able to thaw it out in time. It's not a big deal. I don't care what Butterball says. You don't need a full week to defrost your turkey. Um, anyway, don't take my advice, please, if you have turkey questions, call Butterball and, you know, I defer to their judgment, but I think they're wrong about this one, personally. Sunday mornings, I usually just, <laughs> there's like a screaming baby uh, in the room. Of course, he, like just before I started filming, he was running out, my wife was taking him out to change him, and he runs, tries to run so fast, he trips over, falls, and kind of just bangs his head a little bit. So, that's why he's crying, um, if you can hear him. If you can't, then great. Anyway, Sunday mornings, I usually like to just, start, get Vito walked, um, and, and get that out of the way so that he can just relax and do his thing for the rest of the day, you know, get a coffee, pick up the paper, uh, and then just kind of make my way through the Sunday times throughout the morning. Um, just throw on some chill music, jazz usually, or maybe some vintage salsa or something just lo-fi and chill. Um, and, uh, and then, yeah, just sort of make my way through, through the New York Times um, Sunday edition. Um, which, you know, sometimes I get through it. I, sometimes I'm able to get through it in, in the morning. Um, sometimes it takes a few days. Sometimes uh, there's still sections that are still lingering around by the time I go and get the next, the next week's version. It just depends on the week, depends on the day, um, and depends on how, uh, how it goes. Um, but yeah, lots to do. You know what? I keep saying lots to do. There's really not that much to do, at least not today. Um, I, I do got to go get a turkey um, and I got to get a haircut. Those are, the, those are the two main things that I, that are like drop dead, need to get done today. Um, because once Monday comes, getting a haircut is um, just, it's just harder to do. Anyway, right now I'm going to start making my way through, through this New York Times and uh, just ha keep having a chill morning for a little bit before, uh, before we start doing some of, the, some of the stuff we need to do.
just wrapping up the day. We're we're all set for Thanksgiving, other than a few minor things. Um, like I said, we got a big big fam jam happening. A lot of people flying in, driving in from uh, from Canada uh, to enjoy Thanksgiving with us. Um, yeah, which is which is nice. It's it's always nice to to just see and have that time with family, which is obviously something that hopefully you're not taking for granted if it's something you can just do whenever. Um, it's something probably I took for granted when it was, you know, just easily available. But now that we're in a different country and everything's either like a, a day long drive or, uh, or a flight, I just, I really appreciate everybody making out that, that effort. My hope for you for this Thanksgiving is I hope you really like lean into gratitude, really lean into um, appreciating and being truly grateful in your heart and taking those moments to, to be grateful and thankful for um, the most important things in life, which um, I'm willing to bet are probably not things at all. Um, it's probably the people, it's probably um, the feelings and, and, and just you know everything that comes with those, those super special relationships in your life. So. Whoever you are, wherever you are out there, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm grateful for you. Thank you. And I hope you have a, a wonderful, amazing Thanksgiving filled with laughter, joy, um, and, uh, and lots, of, lots of food. So thanks for watching and happy Thanksgiving.